Hey guys, see we're back here. We're back with some more <clears throat> Red Dead Redemption. And um, yeah, let's go do this Bonnie mission, man. They're burning. What will we burning today, man? I don't know. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Mr. He's tired, Have man. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. What the hell? Let's head out. He couldn't have gotten far. Where's my horse? Come here, you bastard. Come on. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry, we'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Yeah! All right, let's go get your father. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers. Oh, shit, hold on, let me do something fast. Because you don't see too many men, uh, too many men in ties, see? Quick if you can! Daddy! Oh, what happened? Shit. Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch a wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Please stay close. Hey! What could have happened to those poor men? And the horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. John's right, Holly. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw it. with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're... Oh, oh my god! The fire's on fire! Good morning, let's continue, man. This is yeah. a tenor out of cool town. It's getting worse, Captain Bill. Hey! This ain't working! There's no way in through the front! Let's We have to find another way to get in there! We get them horses out! Mas agua! Alright, then it's just, it's just for us to go over here. I don't know what else is over here. Get a move! Okay. Oh. Can't find this shit. I think I know what we got. 
Tinker. I ain't sure. You gotta come over here. Now that shit don't open. Most of the doors are open. Most of the doors are open. Are we in windows? Ah, yes. I was right. Some bullshit. What the hell did I do now? Did I ride too fast? Uh, Alright, there's one way to get it out. To that My bad one. Get a move! Well done! <laughs> now let's save the horses! Shit, body can't make it. Arden. Come on, you boy. Get out of here, kid. Or I'll hit you in the ass. Oh, shit. Okay, John, man. You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. <laughs> Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You <laughs> saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Man, if John wasn't married, John. I mean, if John wasn't married, I would say, John, you go for that. <laughs> but, anyways. Alright, so that was definitely a sabotage because I got a, a goddamn pitchfork. So, uh, yeah. I guess we'll do a next, um, fucking Marshall mission. Who knows? Pardon. Thanks for watching. Well, of course. Fuck it. Whatever. In this in the end episode. Alright, here we are at the Marshall and such. I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? Oh, um, I, I just know. saw I haven't her. haven't seen her right. since after the fire. Why? Why? Yeah, after the fire. She hadn't been seen yeah. since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, it? nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Uh, Mr. Marshall! Come on, come on, wherever you are! Hell's that? Hey, yeah, my exact question. 
Even better. Good day, Mr. McFarland. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarland wants to see his bunny back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarland! This is a nice girl you got there. Get down from there. You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Whole government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Oh, Where the hell is shit. she? Where is she, boy? They're gonna gang rape her. Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Damn. And I just saw her like, <laughs> I don't know, I, I, like, I just rode over here I'll when the fire happened. For the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Shit. Come this on. game looks let's beautiful get right now. Let's go get this weed. jackass. Love the See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affair. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them. Rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke Williamson, right hand man. In other words, the glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal. I'll be back for oh, you. So that's what I wanted so much. Slip. We already filled you with lead once, you ugly That's bastard. the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever Damn. use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed, a lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up to the left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. Well, yeah. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarlands, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and fed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable, different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson in the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business, neither. Right, and yeah, How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules. 
But there ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway. Just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it That's again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Then look at Deep here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quicks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. I can't wait for you to meet the boy. What? Boy, well, you better shut your mouth. Oh, God, God damn it! I ain't no use to you dead. Damn, it's nightfall, man. It's nightfall. Boys are beginning. I spoke in our day. <laughs> Tumbleweeds across the bridge. Can we get there, please? Oh, there we are. Easy there. John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Lead Deke into town. Come on, sure boy. It's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. Boy, shut your mouth, you're gonna I hear those rancher out. girls like it in the rear. Maybe I'm... she won't want to go home. She better sooner you get him so over good. here, the sooner we all go home. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fillers. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Oh shit, I did. I did, bros. I did. I did. Hanging We're body. Guess oh. I'll make a gun man after all. But making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> Damn. 
They caught her up and shit, man. That's messed up. They beat her. Fame plus 150. Alright, guys. Um, real sorry for Bonnie, but now we gotta do this. Um, which is this? Shit, I'm f oh fuck, I'm far, man. Holy goddamn, that's one long ass ride. All right, then I'm gonna come back to you when we're gonna do that set mission. All right, here we're doing the first set mission. I don't know who the hell is set, but um, Nigel said is um his friend or something. So I don't know why we're meeting him in a graveyard. So let's find out. Holy shit. This dude is digging up a grave, goddammit. God damn. This guy's. Excuse me, are you sad? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? Well, at least you're self-aware. What happened? My partner, he stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner, my boy, my man, Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. Oh, shit, this dude's crazy. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The cell say. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Yo, you Come on, man, partner! You gonna leave it like that? God damn, man. The company's dead. How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care, none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Yeah, Folk but they is have cold no and lights. heartless all their lives. To me, just they get warmer them. when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell we got to do with this guy, but... Uh, you gotta look in the friend. cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth? I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. 
So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke, all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who'll do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. Well, yeah, I guess I could help you. You seem like you're delusional, man. You seem like you're crazy, man. Sheep. Digging up corpses. Fly! Fly! What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a raging fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day. All right, so this, this is, is it. A wife Let's stop such. here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. So do I just fire a bullet and hope they come after me? I mean, that seems to be the easiest thing to do. away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. Alright, Dan. This is one god-awful assignment. Stay away from them animals. Are you looking for trouble, mister? Screw you, boy. <laughs> Shit, they shooting at me, god damn They almost killed my ass. lost them. Come on! Oh shit, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, man, they're coming. They're booking it, they're booking it, bro. They're booking it. It's not good. Now it's not good. Pass! Won't it, won't it all. Getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Uh, okay then. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that Smart bastard. bastard. I need him alive, though. But seriously, they don't. What's this got to do with you? 
Go! Get away from me! God damn you! Sis, lying to you, mister! I'll tie up this bastard. Carry, visit the um, car and move. Who do you think you are, mister? You just wait till I get loose, mister. You ain't Let's gonna go. do shit, Shall we? bro. You ain't gonna do shit. Let's What's get you paying you? I'll give you double. It, 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 it ain't really working like that, bro. Whoa. Moses, you son of a bitch. Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir. Damn you, sir. You've always been a twisty little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Well, get ah, shot then, then bro. Cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy ah. in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide ah. man's flesh. Ain't ah. never cut into a live ah. one before. <laughs> ah. Oh, no. Odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on, we can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah. You, you're just gonna leave him there? Best we deal with this now, mister. But, um, well, when we were, oh. Oh shit, so I didn't need my horse? Okay then. We walking very slow. Stay away from me, partner. The sheriff believes Go on, then. You can clear it up the He ain't joking, I tell you. Howdy. Will this clear my name? You better go. Anytime you want to get on with it, it's fine with me. Until next time. All right, then. Hopefully there won't be a so, next time. mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, mister. So that dude just opened the door and he just ran out. Like they don't lock up the bastard. Like seriously. All right then. Let's do this. Um, so next episode we're gonna do Nigeria West Dickens mission. So um, yeah. Thanks for watching. And um, if you made it so far in the video, please leave a like. And I'm out. Peace, man.